Hello and welcome to episode 14 of the Minecraft um, Universal Electricity Let's Play. Um, I finally have this little system working. It took a very, 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 very long time to get this to work. I actually had to bring another friend on to help me figure this system out a lot more. So thank you to, um, what's his name, uh, Tyler Ellerman, um, and Mastard. Mastard helped me get a bit more of the knowledge down. So. This is what basically I needed to make these interfaces. So right now I have a pattern encoder in here. So it will insert whatever it needs. So now everything is pretty much automated. It'll make the dust, it'll make this stuff up. So it's pretty much now you put the pattern encoder in here. Oh, and I also did build this the big gigantic, um, I'm calling it the server because I don't know what else to call it. So I have this and they would be crafted, things like that, just simple things so that you guys can s so if you guys want to see how that works um, let's just go over here and let's just type in ME and then we'll f take out that's the ME cabling and we'll tell it to make up about 10 more begin so it should in theory make it up craft all the ME cabling we're going to need hmm, don't remember making those but as you can see it looks like it's not actually going to work. Oh. Nope, looks like it is working. It is pulverizing nether quartz and it is doing its job to make the m to make the dust. So it's just going to take some while. Oh, and see, we are about to get our 10th one. So it's just going to take a while for it to get its 10th one. So that's how it works. And you can also have it auto craft these. So if I just type in processor, as you can see, we have one processor in. Well, now we can tell it to craft more. So if I tell it to craft up another one, if I tell it to craft up two, it'll craft two of these and then it'll have it smelted. So a very ingenious plan, if I do say so myself. So that's how it all works. So the barrels are kind of useless now. I know, my barrels. Why must my barrels be useless? So, I am also... So in this episode, kind of don't know what I'm going to be building. Hmm, or do I? Do I? I really never know what I'm going to be building today. Because the ME system... So my plan today is actually to link the ME system together. Is to have everything wired together. So I need some more ME cabling. You're actually going to craft up about 30 more. So, I'm probably going to need to go mining for some more quartz, crystals, things like that. Oh, and I need some. I'm going to need some of you and some of you. If I could ever get down the stairs. Oh, and I am running in full screen right now. Finally, it was a graphic card glitch, so if you see some boxes here or here, you might even see them over here. I do apologize for that. It, I don't know what to make it go the way I want it to go, so. I think it requires three. Yes, it does require three to make up six. Fire the lasers! So what we're going to do is we're also going to move the, these lasers to another position. I'm thinking just kind of move them over here. At least that's where my, I'm planning on moving them to. As right now, it's kind of just in my way. We are almost done. We are almost done. Yep. And it's all out. I just wanted to have these so I could, um... What's up with that? Facade stone bricks, facade stone bricks. I don't know what's up with that, to be quite honest. That's a little funky. Wait, I feel like I'm being... S no, I'm not being stalked. So, we can now... Oh! Okay, so sorry about that. Something's up with facades and not liking to connect to them. So, we're just going to kind of ignore them for a while. So, um, what I want to do is... Oh yeah, I blocked that up, huh? Ooh, a little bit of lag. Actually, a lot of lag. So, okay, come on, mouse, work with me here. 
Okay. Probably not going to be running in full screen for very long because I'm at four frames a second right now. Okay, give me a couple minutes while I figure out this issue. Alright, so that appears to be fixed temporarily. Hopefully I will never have to not play in full screen ever again once the new computer arrives. Yay! So my plan is to have ME cabling all wired up into this. So, whenever it needs more stuff, it will provide itself with more blaze rods, charcoal, whatever it needs, it will provide itself with. So that's why I have it making up a lot more ME cabling. Okay, at least that's the plan. So I'm also going to need, I believe, the oh, lag spike. We're going to need the export bus. Oh, perfect. I have two export buses. That's exactly what I need. Okay, thank you. Okay. Alright, so we're going to need the export bus, and I'm probably going to want to make up some of, oh, let me bring this back, uh, mod applied. I want to make up some of this, the covered cabling, which requires just some sort of wool. So, probably going to want to get a sheep farm going soon. I know I had plenty of sheep. Let me just get wool. Oh, I have seven wool. Let me type in string. Yeah, I got plenty of string. Alright, no more string now. But, eh, stop being a pain. Sorry, my doggy just being my doggy. Oh, let me open the door for her because she's a pain in the butt. Sorry if you guys heard that wind. I do apologize once again for like the 16th time this episode. So, probably gonna also, next episode, craft a, well, just get a sheep, um, take a safari net. Um, safari net that has a slime, reusable. Hmm. Probably take the cow one and take that and swap it out. Now this, um, yeah, that's a little annoying. So I'm also going to tell it to automatically craft stuff like that up. If I could ever get down this stupid thing, I'd be so happy. Alright, so my lasers are done, so we're going to move the my lasers. If I could ever... There you go. Whoa! Fast frame rate. Not used to that. Alright, so... Probably just going to... Yeah, I like it right there. That looks good. So, I'm liking my setup right there. Alright, do I have any? No, I do not. Alright, get up there. Get up there. So, I just get ready to use this crap. Um, I'm going to need some. There you cable. That's what I'm going to need up some. I might pick, I need my axe. Nice thing about this is if I type in, well, usually my axe comes right up. Awesome. I just try to get down these stinking stairs. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to detach this one along with that, that, that one, and that one. And we're just going to rework them around here. If I could ever get up there. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Uh, it's all nice and looking. It's all nice looking. So now all I have to do is I just have to, I can even take my ME cabling, because that's just a waste now. There you go. I'm just going to take my ME cabling and I'll try to destroy the seal. 
I try to destroy the roof right now because I do not like to destroy my roof. And we're just going to move this over one block. There you go. Oh, nice. So. Oh, well, I'm out now. Definitely going to need to craft up a large quantity of this stuff. Oh. See, that's just an annoyance. That's just a big old fat nuisance. I do like the idea of covered cabling. That looks really cool. But the whole point of this is um, there's no like item transportation, like things like um, tesseracts, anything like that for right now. So that is a slight little problem along with that. That's going to be a slight little problem also. Hmm. Alright, we're out of that cave covered cable, so I'm gonna need to craft up a lot more covered cable soon. She I'm gonna need to get a sheep farm started. Yippee. Um Yes, craft up just a stack. See if you can craft that much up. If you can craft that much up, I'll be extremely happy. Alright, let's see if I can get down this ladder again. Okay. Alright, so, I'm not going to follow the same path except for right here. Is where it will, is where our precision bus will be located. Dang it, I need a wrench. Stinking wrenches. Constantly annoying me. Also, my sensitivity sucks when I do that. I crouch, my sensitivity just goes bleh. And. Um, yeah, we're gonna need a lot more than what I have at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna need a nice little chunk more. Nice. Uh, good thing I have it ordered to make up another stack. Because I'm just lagging like a mopo today. Sleep again. Yeah. Probably gonna jump out of full screen mode just for a little bit. So I'll be right back after I do that. Okay, so back just had to jump out of full screen mode and I'm not lagging as bad anymore. So. Emmy still crafting it up. Why is it taking forever? Quartz crystals. Oh, see, we're out of quartz crystals. Alright, so I'm going to go find some more quartz crystals and be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, so here's what's going on now. So I had to go and craft up some new things. So here's the new setup. Now we have our export bus, so it's reversed. Export takes it out of the system, import puts it in the system. So Whenever you want to insert into another machine, it's got to be an export. Whenever you want to take it out of the machine and put it in the system, it's got to be an import. A uh, big old complicated for saying that it's just inversed. And then I put an import bus there. So that way, everything was perfect. So we're also going to run some cabling to, I hope that um the cabling, I don't know if I just need to put like an import bus right here. I'm hoping that's all I need to do. And I just put an import bus right there. So that way, everything is all linked up in the system. And then we just run one cable down that way, so that way we all are linked up, and everything just runs nice and smooth. Now, oh, dang it. I have to link this liquid up because we're spawning in sheep and killing them. And we're making them exact copies of each other because I want them to be white. See, we're already at 26 white. Rush home. Get inside, get inside, get inside, sleep, sleep, sleep. I keep logging out and logging back in for no reason at all. So, my system now, if we go over here, I'll type in Emmy. Okay, let's also type in Blaze. Yes, Blaze Rods. So I need to craft another in 
Corp bus, so I need to make it up one of these up. Oh, jeez, always. I need to make one of these up. I need to make a pattern encoder for that. That's what I need to do. So I'm also going to need a piston. Oh, no, that one. Piston, sticky piston. Piston, please. Alright, sticky piston. Very simple sometimes, but very complicated other times. Oh wow, well, genius. Never made, actually made the one machine you need. Should have everything I need except for the cabling. Throw the cabling in there. What else is missing? Is glass really missing? How's glass missing? I gave it a lot of. I have it pulverizing glass right here. Oh, sand. It, but it didn't turn it into. Alright. That may have been a mistake on my part. So, I'm just going to turn this off here. So, this, so we take that, we turn it into, give me a couple seconds, turn it into glass. Alright, so then we take some empty, I just type in pattern. There you go. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a piece of cobblestone in here. And then I'm going to put a piece of sand in there. So that is how you code it for smelting, or pulverizing as. So that's how that works. So we would get another one right here. Sand, glass, and code. So now, in order for this to work out properly, you set it back to orange. Since this is to create glass, this one's, that's one here. There you go. And then for this one, there you go. So now I can tell it to craft up glass. So, whenever it will need glass, um, craft up a stack of glass. So that's how that whole thing works. So, very quick, very easy process to do that. I actually like it. It's really effective. As you can see, we already now have the glass requirements. You can go back into the system. Same with you. So now back to the import bus. Bada bing, bada boom. We now have the import bus. And I just need to grab out the ME cabling. ME cabling. ME, 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 ME. ME cabling. Here we go. So. Do, 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 do. Me no care about you. Me no care about you. If I could get inside, that would be great, great, great. Alright, so. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to de-turn this thing off. And we're just going to... I hope I can get that back. All done. Alright, so does link up with the pipe. Let's see. Nope. So apparently it does not work as planned. That is a big old fat bummer. That is actually quite a serious bummer. I could just have it connected to the machine. Ooh. I could just put like a chest right here. That's probably what we'll end up doing. Is we'll probably just for right now put it. We won't do anything. I just want the blazes to. I don't know. So I'm gonna plan out my system, and I'll be back in a little bit. This may be until I get the new computer because I'm just getting annoyed right now. See you guys then. Hey guys, what is up again? I am back. Um, had to do a lot of stuff. I've wired everything up together now. Um, I hadn't really got a chance to record as much as I would like to have got a chance. I've been really busy the past couple of days. So I've now wired everything up to my main power grid. Um, I'm using these as kind of like a little bit of transformers. And why this is um, dead, I have no clue. Um, I think we're out of power again. Nope. Something is just up with it. So... Hmm... I wonder what's up with this. 
everything back at the base is requiring power. I know everything does require this power. That does not require power, actually. Everything else around here does. Hmm. Wonder what is wrong. Is this for sure requires power? And as you can see, it's um having some power issues. I got no clue what's wrong with this again, and I can't do anything about it till I figure out what the problem is. Um, I know I can use these to kind of like um put stoppers on. Uh, that's what I've mainly been doing. I think this might be requiring most of the power. Nope. Maybe it's just the way this thing's positioned. Alright, let's move it right about here. Yeah, let's move it right about there. Place this right here. This thing was a pain in the butt to craft, I'm not going to lie. Um, we're also going to need to tear down this one. So I decided to go with the ME covering. Just because I thought it looks a lot, I think it looks a lot nicer. And that way we're sort of even. Actually, you know, even would be cutting off right there. Alright. Let me just make sure this dip there was a few dropped. I don't know. Okay. So power is not even sent being sent through this. Let me see. Um hmm. Power is not being sent. Let me just go right to here. I'm going to remove you. I'm going to place you down. Actually, just so I have an extra one just in case. And if you guys can still hear the fan, I do apologize. Okay. So now we should request power from this. There we go. There we go. That was the big old fat problem. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now we have all now our transformer is working. These are just gonna kinda be like our little stopping motions. But um a lot of my energy cells are running out of was running this energy cell was actually running out of power. So I've also built two more steam engines, industrial steam engines onto here. And what are you doing up here? You're not allowed up here. This is a restricted section. Die. So I moved all these over here. I even put my wind farm in the back. So now I have a nice little wind farm. We're still getting a lot of blazes. Um, so I've decided, I ripped out my um, mine, whatever that was called. It just didn't look too nice to me. It was constantly connecting to everything. So if we, you can see we have 33,000 blaze rods and 8,000 charcoal. Now for that system, um, I just had it connected to the charcoal. So it was still creating charcoal. Well, uh, just derping up. I just had it connected to the charcoal barrel. So now I have it connected to a chest where I took out all the other stuff. So now you can see it is crafting. Well, the hopper was, but now you can see there's. I took some wood, put it in here. Then it's being sent back through. So everything still works. It's just been a bit more. Um, I just really have to touch these to get it to work a certain way. This I um, kind of detached because I kind of turned it off just because I was lagging a lot. But we'll flip this back on for a little bit. But just so I can replant a few trees, as you can see my frame rate drops massively. That is something I don't know if um, if it's just my computer or if it's, I think uh, most anything that does a massive spawning at once does cause a lot of lag no matter what. At least that's just what I understand. Um, Remember, I'm not the full out super sophisticated mod developer. Okay, so. Uh, now we'll turn that off. I think it's got enough power. Oh, and um, this this can actually be ripped out. Now that I think about it. There's no more lines going that way. So I'm thinking about also put, turning this into kind of like the smelting factory because I've decided I'm going to use. Um, Mechanism smelting factories mod mechanism. We are going to use um, these ones. Actually, maybe even the elite. Yeah, we're going to use the elite, even though these are a pain in the butt. So for an elite factory, yeah, elite smelting factory, we're going to need to craft up two of those. We're going to need two diamond dust. We're going to need 
gold dust, and then we're just going to need glass for this one. And then I do not know, I think this is just the basis for all these, because some of these will enrich, things like that, so I think certain ones do certain things. Now I see how that one enriches it. This one smelts it, so I don't know what the difference is. I mean, they both, wait, this one's gold dust, but this one also requires gold dust, so I do not know how it differentiates what is what. I think they're different, I don't know. I don't know how it differentiates them. I think when you sp when you create it, it differentiates it that way. So, a little bit interesting. So, I was thinking, and I'm like, oh, good lord, I have a lot more, um, I don't really have a pa I mean, I'm using Buildcraft Power primarily. I mean, I have these steam engines, and I'm like, you want to know what? You can, I can already tell I'm having some power issues, so maybe that's a good thing. Because I have more power sometimes than what I need. Um, and by that, I mean, right now I just had to deal with the power problem, so I just create some, decided to create two more industrial steam engines, because a lot of this requires, a lot of, um, my, this requires a lot more power than normal, so it's actually a good thing. Now, I also want to teach these how to craft, so I'm going to need my ME. Oh, next episode, also, we're going to be teaching my system how to do, um, I just basically took, like, everything that's, like, a one item thing out, because I was just having issues, so we're going to need... Uh, please tell me I have some of that in there. Nope. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Um, no, I want to go over here. Okay, fine, that works too. Oh, uh, whoops. Okay, yeah, I do have some of these. What else is required to make a to make one of these circuits up? Forget, I forget, I forget, I forget. Um thing is we always have the issue of Rubit. Rubit. I want to know what he does. He looks like a robot. Name Robit. What do you do? That's something I'm going to have a lot of fun with. Okay. Stupid thing. Okay. Thank you for the Omisium. That's what I needed. Thank you very much. So now I just have to encode this pattern into here so it will automatically learn how to craft this. So whenever I want it to, it will craft this up. Alright, so now we have that. So I can put the pattern encoder right down here. Wrong thing. Here we go. So then I need it to then I need to teach it how to craft up Omisium. I need to teach it how to craft whoops wrong thing. I need that, that. But I think there's more recipes to that. Yeah, if I use copper, so, um, yeah, we're probably going to use copper, so let me just get out some copper. Now uh, we are going to need to go hunting for some more copper. Let's see how much tin I have. Tin, I do have more tin, but for right now, I think we're fine. Let me just turn this off so it will not extract. So, two. I'm also going to need to teach this how to make up copper. So, I really do need to go on a mining expedition in a little bit. So, that's something I'm not looking forward to. Probably after this episode, and we're getting very close to the wrapping up point for this episode. Oh, I need some iron. Dang, I hate when I do that. Iron. That pattern in code. Okay. Ah. There you go. Craft that up. So I want to craft up just one. Alright, so I just need this so I can, um, clear that. Then we're just going to place this in here so that it can learn how to make up that. 
encode clear all right so whoops I think I put the yeah I put that in the wrong section I need to put that in here then for where's my other one this is yeah that is and nope that goes into the into here the all right so let's see I'm gonna tell it to craft up some in a well let's tell it to craft up one of those oh well it already crafted it up all right let's tell it to craft up one more so now it's gonna send stuff now it's gonna send a couple um stuff to the pulverizer I'm gonna smell up this so this is really cool so um as you can see right here the coke coal now I think all I have to do is craft up an ME pattern encoder ME um craft me up one of those let's see how long it takes one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi four Mississippi five okay ME at the right here we go so now that I think about it I think um let me just take out this pattern because I think really all I have to do is go down here and go vroom. Now since this really has no designated sides I think we're just going to plop down right there now wait, that is the export bus I believe so yep I think now it's in the right spot awesome so now I think that actually is going to work so if I take out all the coke coal I tell it to craft me up one more All right. so there's 27 in here so let's just do that one more time so I know the actual number craft me up one more so 28 should now be in there 28 is so that was my whole little derpiness I derped up so awesome but right now this is going smooth with charcoal I really don't see a problem with us staying and using charcoal well, let's check this power out. Ooh, that's going pretty low, and that's pretty full. Okay, so we're probably just going to detach this. Oh, why did I do that? There you go. Alright, so hopefully this will now start to rebuild back up. Nope, it's straining. Um... let me just do that and hopefully now this will start charging back up this is trying to rebuild back up so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect this from the main power and just allow it to feed off this at least until this can um at least until this and that and then these and then bap me beep 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 good lord I'm an idiot today so it looks like I'm going to we're definitely going to need to craft some up some more power system just so that stays full but I think for this episode, we're pretty much at the wrapping up point. Now I don't have anything to do for the next episode. Dang it. Um, oh yeah, we autom re automating the coal product, the charcoal production. That's what else we're gonna do. All right. So, oh, I also was going to craft up uh, this one. Really? I need gold dust. Dang it. I got plenty of gold. I just don't like making gold dust. I'm going to need two gold dust. Actually, no, I'm going to need four gold dust. So, this is the wrapping up point for episode 14. Next episode, plan. Hmm, what am I probably thinking of? Well, we're going to have to build a crusher. So, we're going to need a crusher, which, please tell me, are everything but the buckets of lava. Alright. So, where's the crusher? I need the crusher. I, I, I just want the bucket. Dang it. 
Alright, so it looks like the crusher is definitely going to be needed first. Oh wow, I forgot how many diamonds I had. I, I went hunting for diamonds, but nothing else. I didn't hunt for anything else. So we, we're going to build a quarry. Definitely that. So I'm going to need to craft. Oh, I'm going to need a lot more. So next step, so work on quarry and work on automated system for the quarry. Doesn't sound complicated at all, does it? Mm, pretty complicated. Pretty dang complicated, if you ask me. Well, oh, damn. That's gonna piss me off. Where's those buckets? 16 buckets. Thank you for Tinker's Construct. Because you want to know why? I can smelt these buckets back down into iron. What the? What is attacking me? What is attacking me? Spider. Spider. Seriously. Seriously, you want to go up against me? Looks like you don't now. But I'll kill you! I'll kill you! And I always knew it was going to be a good idea to keep this handy. Now the rest of the buckets can just be smelted up. Can't even get up there. Alright, so yeah, we're way past wrapping up point for this episode. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And thank you guys for watching. Oh, and I am recording this actually on the... On, um... July 7th, which was the day I uploaded my first video. So, for all of you guys who actually know my first video, thank you guys for watching it. And I appreciate every single one of you guys who has ever watched my video. It means a lot to me that you guys are watching, and I thank you. I actually uploaded a video of just, like, history. So, see you guys the next time. And until then, keep playing that Minecraft.